Okay, I'm going to show you how I make my family and friends favorite fat bombs. So here's the ingredients you're going to need. Um, you can use any different fruit. Um, then here's the uh, pan thing that I use. It's, it's rubbery so you can pop stuff right out. So first put the fruit in there, blend it up a little bit, let it thaw a little bit, then get your butter. And then I melt the butter completely uh, melted because I, I need it warm. And then pour it in with the um, fruit. And that helps thaw it out a little bit too. And then get your coconut oil, your MCT oil, whatever you're going to use. Melt that down too. And I completely melt that down to liquid and make sure it's warm. And then I pour it in that as well. And uh, <clears throat> the cream cheese... I go ahead and uh, cut it up into little pieces so that um, when I warm it up in the microwave, maybe it kind of warms up the whole thing. And then it's easier to go ahead and put in the food processor because you kind of want to spread things around. You're going to want an even uh, mix. And then get your vanilla extract, however much you want to use. Go ahead and put that in too. And then I use my choice of sweeteners, sugar alcohols as they're technically called, liquid stevia here. And then I use the uh, confectioner's swerve with this erythritol and I think a little bit of stevia mix. Go ahead and put that in with your uh, mixture. And then what you're going to want to do is blend that up, you know, as good as you can, maybe 30 to 90 seconds, maybe a little less depending on your food processor. And then uh, <clears throat> you're going to want to check on it. And I take a spatula and I scrape stuff down and then I kind of push down and make sure that there's no chunks. And then you're going to want to blend that. I blend mine for about 30 to 120 seconds. I taste it. If it needs a little bit of more of sweetener, I go ahead and add that. Then you're going to want to take your pan of choice or whatever you're using to separate them out. Um, put it in evenly throughout all of them even if you have two extra holes because when you count your macros you kind of want them to be as evenly as possible and then all you do is freeze that and then you're going to want to put them in a the container and let them st store in there thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like <laughs>